quite right. She has a remarkable record of public achievement. Uh, but I think if you look at Hillary Clinton's views on the issues, which is what this campaign is about, I think the views that I am fighting for, the positions that I'm fighting for, will do more to address the very serious crises facing the middle class and working families. So Hillary Clinton and I have some strong disagreements. I mentioned a moment ago, I want to see the, middle, the minimum wage raised over a period of years to $15 an hour. She has not been clear on that. I am very concerned and have been for many years about our trade policies, which I believe have been a disaster. That's NAFTA, CAFTA, permanent normal trade relations with China, this TPP that we're debating right now. I have opposed these agreements because I think they have resulted in the loss of millions of jobs as factories shut down here and go to China and other low-wage countries. Hillary Clinton has, as I understand it, had no position on the TPP. I believe that climate change is one of the great planetary crises that we face. I sit on both the Energy and Environmental Committee. And I can tell you, I've talked to scientists from all over the world. Climate change is real. It is already causing devastating problems. It is of human origin. We have a window of opportunity to have to deal with this and deal with it aggressively, or else this planet that we're leaving to our kids and grandchildren is going to be in very difficult shape. I am opposed to the construction of the Keystone Pipeline. Hillary Clinton has not voiced an opinion on that. I believe we should expand Social Security benefits, not cut them. Hillary Clinton doesn't have a position on that. So I think it is fair to say that we like each other, we respect each other, we have different opinions on some of the major issues facing our country. From the University of Virginia's Miller Center, this is American Forum.